I want to warn our viewers, the video may be disturbing to some viewers. Watch this. All right, uh, you, you saw the suspect. Uh, the suspect put his hands up, uh, moved towards the ground uh, as ordered. Uh, then the Dover police, uh, the police officer went ahead and uh, we saw him kick, kick this individual. What do you make of this, Joey? I make that it certainly is troubling. I mean, police, we absolutely know, have a very difficult job. There was a police officer buried uh, in New York today, and that's certainly problematic, and everyone's heart needs to go out to them for the fine work that they do. However, when you look in an instance like this where uh, the person appears to be complying and appears to be getting down and then gets kicked in the face, you have to wonder whether this is excessive, whether it's necessary, whether it's even appropriate. We also know that apparently an initial grand jury did not indict and then another grand jury did decide to move forward to go after the officer. And so if anyone does things, Wolf, that is destructive, that is criminal, that is deemed in the law uh, to be unacceptable, they have to be held accountable whether they're a civilian or a police officer. Uh, Jeffrey Tubin, uh, we know that the individual in this particular case who was kicked in the face uh, was not charged. Uh, he was unarmed and was not charged with anything. What do you make of this? Well, Joey was, sounded very judge-like to me. I think it's sickening. I, I just think it's an appalling video, and, you know, I love cops, too, but, you know, th th that just looks like a criminal act to me. And, you know, we are now in an age where uh, cell phone videos are transforming American law enforcement, and all I can say is good, because um, they don't lie.